Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can mount your GoPro camera onto a Nerf gun. Now this might seem a little bit silly, but I tell you what, some of the video footage you're going to get from this is going to be hilarious and pretty awesome. So if you got a new Nerf gun for Christmas or something like that and you want something fun, maybe you got a new GoPro for Christmas, you're looking for something fun to mount it onto to get a little bit of a different angle. This is a very cool thing to do. So we're going to be using the vented helmet strap mount. One of the nice things with this is we don't actually have to use one of the adhesive mounts to do this. We just use this. It'll mount for however long we want to use it for. And then when we're done, we can take it off and we haven't used up one of our GoPro mounts. So we'll take the vented helmet strap mount and I'm just going to kind of hold on to it here and put it in different places. And then I need somewhere where the straps will go around it and they'll set level. So really the two options are either somewhere on top, maybe up here, or the place that I'm thinking more will be right back here. Uh, now one of the nice things of doing it at the back is then if I put it on the side here, I'll actually get this whole side of the barrel in my shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around here to this back, take this piece of the vented helmet strap mount, wrap it around the top, slide it through the buckle, just pull a little bit tight, lock that one down. Then we'll do the same with the other one. We'll put that in here, and then we'll pull that a little bit tight. And then what we'll do is we'll unstrap both of them at the same time, get it, uh, make sure we get the straps how we want them, pull on both the straps at the same time with our fingers, pull them tight, and then we'll take our thumbs and lock down those two mounts. Uh, as you can see, this mount isn't quite uh, parallel with the gun, but that's okay because once we take our GoPro on our buckle mount, so we've got our GoPro, our buckle mount, and two um, extender bars, a little extender bar, the big extender bar, so this is what allows us to fold this thing up, just like this, and we clip this on. Um, we can then angle it however we need to to correct for the uh, for the mount not being level. So guys, there we go. That was how we can mount our GoPro onto our Nerf gun. Um, if you watch a sample video from this, I think you'll be very impressed. It looks very, very cool. It's a very different angle that you don't normally get with your GoPro. Uh, you can play around with whether you have it on top, on the bottom, underneath, on the front, on the back. You can try capturing yourself maybe using it. Um, all kinds of cool things to do there. It is, again, it's a cool GoPro shot because it has one piece of the shot that's very stationary. As you can see, the, the barrel of the gun in the shot is kept stationary and everything else moves around it. Um, that keeps your viewers from getting a little bit uh, dizzy. It, it, allow, it gives them a, a perspective, a point in the video that's still throughout the entire thing, which is really cool. And then um, everything else can move around it. So very, very cool shot. Uh, just kind of a creative angle. Again, it's just one of those ways you can play around with throwing your GoPro onto different things. And if you use a vented helmet strap mount or something like this, you can do it without the risk of or the cost of having to use up one of your GoPro mounts. So guys, thanks for watching this another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for lots more videos. If you've got any questions or comments, please make sure you leave them below. Like the video if you liked it. And if you've got anything else that's bigger or pre more pressing than you could fit into a GoPro comment, uh, go ahead and check out my Facebook page. It's linked in the description of the video, uh, GoPro Tips on Facebook, where uh, that's if you really got something you want to ask me and you want me to get back to you, go there and I will get back to you right away. So thank you guys for watching. This is another GoPro Tips and Tricks video. And until next time, guys, uh, one more time, thanks for watching.